Hello and welcome to the Reef Dog Extra Channel. Now when I did my review of the Refactory Smart Roller, I said I would come back and make a second video showing you the roll change process. So that's exactly what I'm gonna to do today. I've had the Smart Roller for nine months and this is the second roll I've changed in that time. So I am a little rusty on how to do it. It's not second nature to me just yet. So I do make a couple of mistakes, uh, which I'll talk you through in the uh, in the actual video. But basically the purpose of this video is to show you the process that you need to follow to change the roll so you can decide whether or not it looks easy or difficult. So with all that being said, let's get stuck in. So the first thing you will need to do is remove the old roll. Now it doesn't matter on this if you put it all the way through so you can just wind the whole thing round and then gently remove it. There's also a little spindle that holds the new roll, which I'm just taking out of the way now. But the old roll comes off really easily. You just move it out of the way and pop it up. Then you have to remove the central column. And the last time I did this, it was actually a little bit more difficult. It was a little bit more stiff in there, but this time it came out really easily. So that was nice and easy. And that is one part that can be quite difficult, but not so on the Refactory Smart Roller. You then put the top bracket back in place and then you open the new roll. Now it comes in two layers of cellophane for some reason. This is the second, it comes off nice and easily. And then you have to thread it through the, uh, the roller itself. One of the fiddly parts with this is because my roller is not facing forward, it's not facing the front of my sump, it's a little bit fiddly to find somewhere to rest the new roll while you're putting it in place. And I've 3D printed this little bracket that holds the roll because otherwise I don't really think I'd have anywhere to put it. But the next step is to remove the central column. And before you do that, you need to unscrew the thumb screw on the far side. Now the stock thumb screw that comes with the Smart Roller is actually quite stiff to turn with your finger. So I'd recommend either leaving it 50% unscrewed or do what I've done if you have a 3D printer, which you probably don't, and 3D print a piece that just slides straight in and out. So you don't have to do any screwing in or out. You then remove the central column. And this is one really good thing about the Smart Roller because it's very easy to do. As you can see, this is the bit that gets dirty. It's not actually too bad on this, but ideally I would have liked to have pulled this whole thing out, run it under the tap to, and cleaned it. The downside of the Smart Roller, whilst you can pull out the central column and that's great, it is still attached, as you can see, to the water sensor. So it's not quite so easy to pull, pull the whole thing out, run it under the tap and give it a proper rinse. However, all you'd need to do is disconnect the water sensor and then you can do that. So it is pretty easy, but I couldn't be bothered to, this time round. You then feed the new roll through the roller, put the central column back in place and push it down over the top and then the new roll is in place. But I'm gonna pause the video here because this is where I made the mistake. And you can see this part of the fleece roll here is actually supposed to be on the far side of the guide rail and I'd put it on the inside. And actually this is the second time I've made that exact same mistake, so it is quite easy to do. So you do need to try to pause and remember to do it, otherwise you have to wind back like I did and undo it. So once I'd stuck this all in place, I then uh, unraveled the, uh, the, the tip of the, the new roll and pushed it behind the guide rail at which point it was back in the right place. And it's really important to do that. You can't just leave it where it is. Once you've done that, then what you need to do is wrap the new roll around the, the spindle and sellotape it in place. You have to sellotape it in place. It won't just grip on its own. So you need to get a piece of sellotape and put it across the length of the roll. And then we're pretty much done. You just put the spindle for the new roll back through the, uh, the roll, gently rest the, uh, the new roll in the machine, and basically we're done, that's it. Now actually there is one last step in that you need to tell the app that you've got a new roll. That's very, very easy. You just go into settings, press set up new roll, press new, and then it's done, simple as that. So that is the full roll change process on the Refactory Smart Roller. It's really easy and I think it's a toss up as to whether this or the Red Sea Reef Mat <laughs> is more easy to change. The advantage of the Red Sea Reef Mat is that you can whip out the, the central column really easily without having to disconnect the water sensor. But apart from that, if you don't want to rinse the central column every single time, the Refactory one is actually slightly quicker. But either way, they're both really simple to change and I appreciate that they both put a bit of time into thinking about maintenance. Now, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you found the video useful, give me a thumbs up on your way to the subscribe button. And until next time, happy reefing.